As a cop, I lost my callers to legal loopholes, but I believed in the system. As a DA, I lost my cases to crooked lawyers, but I believed in the system. As a judge, my hands were bound by the letter of the law, but I believed in the system. Until it took my life away. And then I stopped believing in the system and started believing in justice. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping, I'm not. Beauty, I'll accept. It looks like sleep. It was a long blink. <laughs> not getting your eight hours a night? I just always find it hard to get started on Monday mornings. Why? Because I hate them. Some judges get their weirdos on Fridays, some on Tuesdays. Mine come on Mondays. Well, you're packed today. Oh. Well. Maybe I'll get lucky. No one will show. <laughs> so, then what's the problem? Judge, I want you to appoint me another lawyer. Why is that? Because my public defender isn't interested in my case. Counselor, you have any comments on the defendant's motion? Counselor! I'm sorry, Your Honor. I wasn't listening. Why don't you go have lunch? Are we done yet? Not quite. Uh, I didn't think so. It's my intention to record my understanding into the record. And if there is any disagreement with my understanding, by counsel for the defendants, which I believe there isn't, to ask that that be recorded so that there be no subsequent misunderstanding by any parties to this case or any third parties as to what we intend to provide. Is that a problem, Your Honor? <laughs> yes, I, I think it is. Because basically, I don't have the slightest idea of what you're talking about. Well, at least you're almost finished with your morning cases. Yeah. It's only a quarter after two. You have the right to a trial by jury, but you may waive that right. What do you wish to do? Weave, weave. Last case of the day. They save the best for last, as usual. The state will prove that the accused, Miguel Luisi, is indeed responsible for the March 10th bombing of the city's financial center. A savage and tragic event that left 15 innocent people dead on the street. It is up to this court to put an end to this terrorism. Send a message to the whole world. You won't get away with it. Not in this country. Counsel for the defense. Don't anyone move! I mean it! I swear I'll blow his brains out! I swear I will! Why don't you just... Shut up! Give me the gun. Do it now! How'd you get that gun through the metal detector? I didn't. Oh, oh, oh. 
$3.99 Kmart. Now I have the real one. Good eye, Marjorie. Get in here. Get in here! Close the door! Kill everyone here if they try to break in. You can't get out of here. There's no way out. Police are coming. They'll surround the courthouse. I'm counting on it. Okay. You're in charge. You're in control. Talk to me. What's this all about? It's about justice. Justice for my family. They died in his bombing. They deserve better than the justice you're known to give out, and I intend to see they get it. This is not going to help them. How do you know? Are you going to preach to me about justice? About this monster's rights? Okay. You got 15 minutes to tell me why I shouldn't blow his brains out. Starting right now. Yo, move! Don't start watching the fight without me, man. Hurry up, I don't want to tune in for the knockout. Old Block's written another editorial on the Night Watchman. Oh, yeah? Is he mentioned me? Hey, we're supposed to be anonymous. Remember, nobody's mentioned. Thank God I'd be embarrassed to death. Still, nice to get some attention. The police wouldn't look at it that way. Come on, let's watch the fight. All right. Ten rounds with my boy, sure to take the belt. Oh, Garagetti's gonna knock him out. What? When was the last time you ever heard of an Italian guy laying out a brother? <laughs> Except for, like, in the movies. <laughs> Are you ready? No, no, no. Oh, let's see. Got my hero, got my soda, got my special lucky watching the fights on TV hat. You're worse than my grandmother. Wait, wait, wait. What? What? What's the matter now? My chips. Don't move. I'm serious. All right, all right, all right. Oh, 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 oh. Here's your chips. I like the ruffle kind. Gibbs, it's been a very nice day. The fight's about to start. Nick hasn't called. Don't spoil it. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's do it. With Gigante getting his first middleweight shot here in Las Vegas, today's fight is... Please stand by for an important announcement. Stand by? What do you mean, stand by? That's all we've been doing is standing by. Probably didn't pay your electric bill. We interrupt this broadcast with a special news report. Yeah, the president's got hemorrhoids. We're here live in front of the Superior Court building where a single gunman has apparently taken a courtroom hostage. No one thinks... Hey, for the gunman's sake, I hope not. Police are already on the scene and have confirmed that it is the court of Judge Nicholas Marshall. Unfortunately, we have lost our connection with our field reporter, but instead of the scheduled program, we will be covering these events as they unfold. We planned this. You knew I was watching the fight today. And this. At this time, we are prepared to disclose that there is indeed a hostage situation. We're pretty sure there's but one gunman inside the court. We're attempting to establish a line in, and I will personally begin negotiating for the hostages release. That's me, Captain Kevin Morton, M-O-R-E-T-O-N, Morton, police captain. Welcome to beginning English. English. My name is Maria Martí, and I'll be your teacher. Now, I'm sure many of you have some basic understandings of... Well, okay, maybe not. But I do think that you will learn more quickly if I speak only in English. Okay. Um, let's find out how much English you already know. Anyone would like to start? 
Anyone? Yes, go ahead, sir. Uh, idiot. Bum. Drunk. That was lovely, thank you. Um, anyone else? Go ahead. Hey, hot mama, do you want to ride on my TV? Oh, it's not me you want. You want my cousin, Julio. Good, good. That was a good start. Okay, now, if everyone would repeat after me. Apple for the teacher. Apple for the teacher. What, is the neck on here? I'm a little busy right now. So we, we've got to talk. Nikki's in hot water. Nikki's in hot water. How'd yeah. you know? What about my class? Can you talk to Mom? I'll take care of you guys. Come on. Come back. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Some nut has taken Nick's courtroom hostage. OK, people. Yeah. Gibbs is in the house. Is he hurt? Uh, I don't know. There was nothing on the news about it. The police are already enforcing their standard operating bull. Okay, let me get someone to take over my class and we're out of here. I could take a break right now anyway. Is it a tough job? <laughs> you don't know the half of him. Pick one that'll give you true loving. My mama told me. You made a shop around. Yes! I love your job. You need a whole dozen new lounge singers. Smokey would be proud. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, um, a new teacher will come. Una profesora nueva viene ahora. We're set apart from people like this because we have the ability to think, to reason, to rise above this base urge for revenge. I know how you feel, believe me. But you have to trust in society for justice to the form of this court. Really? Not very convincing. And the clock is ticking. You're not going to save his life with his legal rhetoric. I suggest you start saying what you mean. What you feel instead of what they teach you to say. Why don't you stop playing this sick game? It's all right, Tara. Man wants to get personal. I can get personal. I carried a gun once, just like the one you have. You ever fired that one before? The hell did that got to do with anything? No, you haven't, have you? You think that gun will bring you justice? Help you sleep better at night? Take away your nightmares? You think if you pull that trigger, it'll be like pushing a magic button that his head and your problem will disappear in one shot. It won't disappear in one shot. It stays and it grows. And you've just made it bigger because you fed it another life. You, you think you're empty now? You think you lost something now? You try living with a vendetta for five or ten years. It doesn't matter anymore. Oh, yes, it does. Once he's gone, that empty feeling is still there. But you still have this burning urge to do something about it, but there's nothing left to do except keep shooting. Only there's nobody left to shoot anymore. Except maybe yourself. Are you ready for that, Mr. Ordesky? Are you ready for that, Mr. Ordesky? Can you handle that, Mr. Ordesky? Because if you go through with this, that's what it'll come to. The clock is running. She writes fast. I used to know a girl like that in grade school. 
They had schools back then? <laughs> they had schools. <laughs> Sorry. Look, Nick's in trouble. What are we going to do about it? I have it. After evaluating the situation with information available, we do what any trained agent would do. Well, since some of us in the room are still kind of winging it, why don't you tell us what those of us who have experience would do? We do nothing. Except wait. Wait? Wait. Wait for more information. Wait for this man's demands, if any. Wait. Wait. Almost time. You know, if you're looking for some magic word, forget it. Shoot him. Go ahead. <laughs> Everything I've said, you already know. I know exactly how you feel. I can't honestly say I wouldn't be doing the exact same thing. Maybe worse, given your position. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Oh, no, no. It's sick and it's pathetic, no matter which way you look at it. But if you're beyond caring about yourself, think about your family, their memories. Fifteen seconds. You won't be able to carry their memories, build on their dreams. Ten seconds. You know what you'll be doing? Five seconds. Killing them. I want to know your demands unless you're willing to give yourself up. You get it. Get it. You may have saved this animal's life now. But I'm not finished with your courtroom, not yet. I'm walking out of here and I'm walking out clean. And I'm interested in only one demand. Why don't you tell me what it is? Maybe I can help you. There's only one group in this city who can help me now. One group who would understand, understand what I've been trying to do. I want them to come here and negotiate my escape. Who are they? The same people who've been trying to clean up your mass for almost a year. I want to see the night watchman. I can't believe we're just sitting here while Nick's got a gun pointed at his face. We need more information. Why? We already know what our disc's demands are. He wants to see us, so let's just give him us. Not until we know at least everything the police know. All right, I'm in. Police Central Database, what do you need? Lucy's file, from time of arrest to the present. And any previous record on this Ordesky character. What are we wasting time for? If you won't have a previous record, you heard the story on the news. He's just some deranged citizen. Maybe. Ever since I saw the police sketch on this citizen, I keep thinking I've seen his face before. Well, here's Luis's file, but there's nothing in there about anybody named Mordesky. All right. Print out that file. Let's start discussing how we are going to get into that courtroom. What's the problem? Maria, we've been invited. Exactly. The police will be expecting us. If you still value your private lives and identities, we are going to have to sneak in around them. I forgot about that. Well, I can get the plans and the blueprints to the courtroom. Good. All we have to do is to plan a distraction. Something big enough to throw the police off while we make our way in. Well, you're looking at the master of sight and sound. How big of a distraction do you need? Something short of nuclear. <laughs> no problem. Now, I don't want any action taken until these night watchmen arrive. Let's give them some time to see if they really exist. Because if they do, I'm going to make sure I leave here today with the hostages free, this psycho in custody, and the identities of these vigilantes as a special bonus. Is that understood? Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Now move out. I'll be commissioner by springtime. What? What did she just say? She has to go to the bathroom. So do I. Hold it. What if we can't? And I hope you're not shy. Look, you could be keeping us all here for nothing. No one knows for sure if the night watchmen are for real. That's right. I've always thought they were an invention of that reporter, Mo Block. What if they don't exist? What if they don't show up? They'll show. How can you be sure? I'm sure. 
because it's the only thing I've got left. Listen to me. Why don't you just end this now, okay? Let me call the police outside. If you let these people go right now, I'll see to it that it gets taken into consideration at your trial. It's too late. It's not too late. The court will have sympathy with your problem. It hasn't gone too far. Please! Please! Gone too far now. You think these night watchmen would understand what you just did? Of course. They're fighting a war and I'm fighting a war too. Maybe. But now you're on opposite sides. I don't think they'd see it that way. Something tells me they would. Hey, you talk to him. This is Judge Nicholas Marshall. Stuart Desky has just shot and killed one of the hostages. You tell him there'd be more if he interferes with the night watchmen when they show up. I want them escorted in. He said there'll be more. I want a clear path up the front steps. These jokers show up, we're going to give them an armed escort through the front doors. They are not to be interfered with. OK, we're locked into the police scanners. I flip that switch, and we can start giving them the phony reports. And they won't be able to tell? Nope. I can make them think the building's surrounded in less than five minutes. By the time they check out the conflicting reports, We'll be inside. You the guys better get up here. There's something going on. They've just stepped up to the sidewalk and are now heading to the stairs. I repeat, Listen. we're here live from the Superior Court building where the police are about to leave the alleged vigilante group, the Night Watchmen, into the building. Is Mr. Kodesky part of your group? I can't do that. We're are the Night Watchmen. Are you personally going to be negotiating those guys? the release of the hostages? How long have the Night Watchmen been together? What I are think we've been replaced. Can't you give any information? They're here, and on their way in. I guess they do exist. I've been waiting a long time to meet Judging by the way these guys look, we should be out of here in no time. They can't be the night watchman. Why not? Because they look too damn good. That's why. Yo, man, watch the crumbs! And hold it. Did you just spill beer on my dashboard? Me and my mother! Come no on. All right. Did you see those guys? I mean, we should look like that. We're the real article. Look at us. I don't think they look so great. Take away the fancy suits, the expensive labels. What do you got left? Bulging muscles and rock hard stomachs. All right, but then what? Look, this isn't a contest. Someone is playing a nasty game and using the night watchman to foot the bill. It's got to be Louise. And they got to be working for him. From what I could tell from his police file, Louise is no leader. Someone else set this up. I need my interval files. My stomach ain't so soft. Oh, yeah. You got a regular washboard there, Moon. Big pile of dirty laundry on top. I'm pleased to say that Ordesky has released several of the hostages upon the arrival of the so-called Night Watchman. But we are not out of the woods yet. I am continuing to personally negotiate the release of the rest of the hostages, and I promise you that I will deal with both Ordesky and the Night Watchman when the time is right. What could he be saying?
need them. Doesn't matter. If he's babbling about justice, I guarantee you they're not listening. But if they're not the Night Watchmen, then who are they? I don't know. Look at Luisi. Look how cool he is. I think a man in his position would still be sweating. I'd like to talk to them in private. Can we use your chambers? Mordesky, listen to me. You can't trust these guys. They're not what they seem. Well, I appreciate your concern, but I know who they are. They're even going to help me keep an eye on everyone out here while I'm in there. For your own protection. I don't want any surprises while I'm away. Okay, now I know. You see his gun? It's pointed at the hostages, not at Luisi. Lordeski. Well, if I'm right about this one, he's not coming out of my chambers alive. Look at all these files. Bet you're probably in here, Boo. Lie to me. What are you looking for? This. This? I love the way she does that. She's so dramatic. This. Uh-oh. What? What else can go wrong? I knew I saw this face before. Mm. This fits with everything we know about Lucy. He's not behind all this. Ordesky is. Anton Ordesky, alias Luis Montrone, alias Imad Marouche, alias Marcus Austin, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They're all working on this together. Ordesky is the leader of Luis's terrorist organization. It says here he's a master of disguise and extremely clever. This is nothing more than a fancy jailbreak to spring Luisi. Yeah, but how's he going to get him out? His usual way, explosives. <laughs> Look, we have to work fast. For some reason, this judge does not believe you're the genuine article, though I don't understand why. The police and the press went for it just as I planned. <laughs> These Americans and their love of superheroes. Always they believe in the myth the moment the harsher realities of life set in. Just as well. Their belief in these preposterous vigilantes will allow us to take Luisi, blow this building, and blame the whole messy affair on their beloved night watchman. Let's go through with plan the judges. I want this whole building leveled. Hey, Her desk is always favorite plastic. With this type of detonation configuration. Oh. Is that with or without mustard? You just ate the detonator. Oh, good. That means we're safe. Hardly. The real ones don't go down so easily. Look, suppose we can defuse these things. How are we going to find where they put them? We are going to have to estimate. <sighs> these men know how to blow up a building. So do I. I'm going to show you the major stress points. Yeah, Orient, no, wait a second. Did you say we have to cut the, the, the green wire or the yellow wire? I said the red wire. I, th I think I'm reaching a major stress point now. What's wrong? Besides the fact that we're all probably going to blow up, get shot, and die? <laughs> Not much. We won't die. We have a huge advantage. What's that? My knowledge and expertise. Oh, well. They didn't touch him. But if they're phonies working for Louisi, that doesn't make any sense. They must be for real. Well, maybe we're full from the start. I think Odesky is not who he seems to be. Look, they're leaving. All right, you're all free to go. Get out of here. What are you waiting for? Get out of here. Move it. Except you five. I still need five bodies. It wasn't about revenge, was it? Very good, Judge Marshall. You've been suspicious of my men since they've arrived. And seeing you five will be spending the last minutes of your lives together in the end. You might as well die knowing the truth. 
You didn't come here to kill Elise. I'd never let my best explosive man run in jail. I'm happy to report that I, Captain Kevin Morton, uh, that's Morton with me, thank you, that I have secured the release of most of the hostages at this point. I'm currently planning a surgical assault on the building's interior to free the remaining captives. As for the night watchmen, I have to assume at this point that they may be a threat to the safety of the hostages and may have had a hand in this from the beginning. So, Mr. Odesky, how do you plan on getting out of here? Now, I would have thought you'd have guessed that by now. Seeing that, you know everything else. Five of you. The five of us. We get out as hostages. While you get to die in the explosions I'm currently arranging, they'll think we're dead by that time. We'll be in Tahiti. That's not bad. But haven't you forgotten something? Really? Enlighten me. What about the real night watchman? What if they show up? I suppose that is a danger. But maybe Santa Claus or the Tooth Fairy may pop in. Forget your hope of justice, Your Honor. Today, it is not only blind, but deaf and dumb as well. But it can see in the dark. Such fine trapping young men. We gotta take him out. We? What are you talking about? We? I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, let me guess. You're black belt too, huh? Third degree at Interpol was mandatory. Oh, really? Well, let me tell you something. This kind of thing's my specialty, so you just sit tight. said it was gonna be fair, guys. Let's start looking for the bombs. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about Nick? Yeah, we have to get him to the courtroom. Gibbs, change him to one of his uniforms. Should I put one on too? <laughs> Moon, we couldn't squeeze your butt into one of those uniforms if we rubbed you down with animal fat. <laughs> yeah, but just turn around and give a boy a little private too. I think they would see through these guys. Oh, great. Had to include a brother. They've been gone a long time. Shut up. Something couldn't be wrong, could it? I've been responsible for acts of terror all over the globe. You think I can't handle this simple courthouse? Everybody screws up sometime. Brilliant. Thanks for the sage advice. You shut up. I'll put a bullet through your head. I don't care whether you die now or later. The bombs will take care of the autopsy. What's the matter, Odesky? You starting to sweat? <laughs> Thank you. 
I think I'm ready to pass sentence on you now. Cute, Your Honor. Very cute. When do I hear the verdict? Soon. Very soon. What took you so long? Where are the others? Go on the way. Uh, at least let me put her in my chambers. Fine, fine, whatever. I'm gonna need some help. Give me a hand. Surprised? No. What took you guys so long? I expected you sooner. Where's Moon and Maria? We gotta get these people out of here. This place is full of explosives. I hate Mondays. Don't worry about it. Moon and Wonder Woman are out defusing the bombs now. Are you sure she's from Interpol? Because she seems more like a cross between, like, the CIA and the Green Berets. Yeah, well, I think she's full of surprises. But listen, we can talk about it on the way out. What about the rest of these terrorists? Relax, man. Got a little surprise for them set for just about now. Give it up, Pordesky. The real night watchmen are here. We don't like imposters. It's a trick. Give it up, and we may let you live long enough to get out of here. It's got to be the police. It's dead. So much for phone calls. We're very close, and we're coming to get you. That's going to be run now. They have to. They think the building is going to blow. You did get all the bombs, correct? Red wire, right? Right. The all around. What are we going to do? We're leaving, idiot. We can't afford to wait for the others. The explosives are going off anymore. We're out of here now. What smells really bad and falls like a rock? You do! Which way? Stairwell! since the first moment I walked into your court. What? <laughs> you were so eager to help out, so concerned about my plight. Oh, don't throw your life away. Think about your family. There's no justice in revenge. <laughs> you were so taken by my sentimental garbage. Don't be a sore loser. Nobody's perfect. You got one on me, I got one on you. <laughs> You're in cake. You mind if I ask you so one question before I die? Oh, I should, I should. Now, is that thing over in the corner supposed to be blinking? I hate Mondays. Let's move in! I guess I missed one.
What the hell happened in here? Who did this? Oh, I think it was those uh, night watchmen fellows. The real ones. I see the night watchman got some more positive press. Oh, yeah. And that idiot cop got a new beat in downtown Bumblebird. <laughs> you know, I'm really proud of all of you. You acted like a team. You thought with your head. I don't think I could have made it through without you. Well, you had a pretty good leader. You work with good people, Nick Marshall. I do. Speaking of which, where's Moon? And that's all. I mean, it doesn't hurt to look nice. <laughs> he really hasn't been the same since he saw those phones. Yeah, they were pretty slick, weren't they? Yeah. Why can't we have cool uniforms like that, man? Maybe something with some infrared goggles or some high tech Kevlar linings, or we get like a radio pack or, or a jet pack. That would be cool. We could get like a night watchman mobile, because I'm really getting tired of using my old van. You know, we get like a boat, we get a jet, we get the merchandising. We get like a little action adventure Gibbs doll with, with like sound effects and doing karate. Woo, 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 woo! 